Well, good morning there, and welcome to Taylor's Authentic Traditions. Uh, today we got a white-tailed deer hide that was given to us by a close friend, and we're going to be uh, turning that deer hide into a very usable, soft, pliable product called buckskin. Now, uh, to tan this hide, uh, I don't have any brains available, so later on in the video, we're going to show you a uh, a good hide solution that is natural that you can use at home to help you utilize. Uh, uh, natural products and stay away from the harmful toxic uh, chemicals that the industry uses today. Now all I've done to this hide, when I got this hide it was completely raw um, it had been frozen for me so the uh, the gentleman skinned it off the deer uh, he had uh, put it right in the freezer so all the meat and the fat and the hair is on the hide uh, so I'm going to show you how uh, to remove the membrane and remove the meat and the fat and the hair and all I've done to this hide is just set it in the water and I've changed that water uh, about three or four times uh, every few days uh, and you want that bacteria in the water to uh, build up that way uh, not not too high of a level but enough to where the hair starts slipping when the hair starts slipping pull the hide out and uh, and we're gonna start uh, removing all the uh, the waste product that we don't want So this hide's very heavy, like I said, it's been soaking in the water. Bring a little bit of that water out. What happens when this hide's in the water? The membrane swells. And with the bacteria in there, it allows uh, the, the hair to slip. So here's the hide. And later on, in this segment, we're going to go through some of the uh, tools that are utilized as well. So we're going to lay that on our oak flashing beam. And you can see some of that hair, hopefully, is starting to slip. And that's exactly what we want. So I'm noticing some of this hair is loose and some of it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and keep working here. I'm going to get off all the hair that is loose. Really watch around the stomach of the deer, wherever there's uh, white hair. Be very careful because that is very thin and you can repulse even with this dull blade here. Make sure you stay tuned for part three in our continuation of brain tanning where I cover how to flesh a hide.